Hi, I'm Cass. I'm from the Paris Library, and today we'll be making a no knitting yarn buddy. In case you don't know what that is, this is what it is. It's just something I made up and thought it was fun. We're first going to start off with our hot glue gun, our yarn, our pipe cleaners, our eyes, which could be buttons or glue eyes, our scissors, and if you didn't catch that, don't worry, I wrote it down all for you. Alright, so we're going to get started with the head. So grab your pipe cleaner, grab your two fingers, and you're going to wrap it around like so. And just to make sure it stays a circle, we're also going to wrap around the circle. And we're going to make five of them. Boom! Movie magic got five of them. Once you got all five, you're going to want to put one across the other, like so. And you're going to make room for another one. And you're just going to do this until you can fit all of them in. Just be very careful. You're also just going to want to squish them to make sure they fit. This will really help make the shape of the head. Alright, now that we have our head, let's make the rest of our body. So you're going to grab your pipe cleaner. You're going to fold it in half and then you're gonna put it in there make sure you're only putting it through one of the circles so I chose the pink one just because you can see the pink one and you're gonna fold them in like this and you're gonna make sure you have two little um, pipe cleaners just coming out like that and that's very important by the way it's very important to have it exactly like this then you're gonna grab another one you're gonna wrap it around just to make the neck and the body to secure it Alright, so you know how I told you earlier that having those little two things is very important? Well, it's because that's where we're going to have to put our legs. But before we get to our legs, let's get to our arms. And our arms is fairly easy. You're just going to grab your pipe cleaner. You're going to wrap it around like so. And make sure you have it in the position that you want your legs to be at as well. Um, I realized I made mine a little too short for my arms. So you can fold it however long you want or however short you want. I just... I thought this would be easier for you guys. Alright, now for our, one of our legs, you're going to fold it in half. And then you're going to put like a little foot at the bottom, just making it look like an L. And you're going to open up again those little things I told you about. You're going to go from the outside in. And then you're going to twist it a little bit, just so the foot isn't all the way sideways. Okay, so now we're going to plug in our hot glue gun. While our hot glue gun is getting hot, we're going to take out our yarn and get started on our yarn buddy. The way I start is I get out the string and I just make a simple knot on the neck. You can cut off the excess yarn, but I'd like to keep it on there. And once you're ready, you can start wrapping away with, with the head first, and then you can move your way up to the arm. On the arm, I like to put a little bit of glue on the tip right there, just so my yarn could really hold on to that little place without falling off and you keep doing it to the other side as well okay so now we're going to move down don't worry about the body just go down to the leg and at the very tip of the foot you're going to do the same thing we did on the arm which put a little bit of hot glue and then wrap around just so it holds on nicely all right so then when you're done with your legs you can start working on your body and getting it as thick as you want or as thin as you want and once you're done picking out what you want start focusing on the mistakes you made and wanting to fix them so i had a loose yarn on my foot and i fixed it with a little bit of hot glue and then i'm gonna go wrap around to make my feet more even just because I think my right side needed more yarn on it. At this point I realized I ran out of string so I got my hot glue gun and tried to hide it as best as I could. I still wanted to fix the head so I found some yarn that was the same color to help me out. I added hot glue because I really wanted the yarn to stick in some places. All 
All right, now I'm getting done with my yarn buddy. And so what I do is I put a little bit under one and then over the other and then just twirl around and hot glue the tip to a place and have it a little bit hidden. Now it's time to decide whether you want googly eyes or button eyes. Alright, so these are the final results of my yarn buddy. And as you can tell, I had a lot of fun making these. I made so many different types. Alright, let's move on to the book recommendation for this video and I have quite a few to recommend. Our first book is Extra Yarn by Mag Barnett and illustrated by John Classen. This book is about a girl that finds a box with infinite amount of yarn. Can you just imagine the possibilities she can do with all that yarn? Our next book is A Friendship Yarn by Lisa Moser and illustrated by Olga Demidova. This is such a cute book about friendship and it just really shows how your friend can really be there for you. Our next book is Wilbur by Leslie Hilkowski and illustrated by Lee Harper. Wilbur stands out and they know it and love it. This book really shows that being yourself is better than forcing yourself to fit in. It's such a good book. For more information on these books or books like this, please visit our website. There you will find all the types of resources we offer in all our Riverside County branches near you. Thank you for watching!